Hello there everybody, it is me Alexa and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pogaru title track. So I have indeed reacted to the teaser from this as well as the song Kerabu. Um, the teaser I thought was really intriguing and Kerabu, I did like the song, I thought it was fun. Uh, the video itself gave me a few questions about the movie which I'm sure will be answered once I see the full film but Sadly, all I can know about it is those couple minutes that you see in the video song. Um, and in my reaction, you can hear all those thoughts. Um, <laughs> but it uh, raised a lot of questions, that's one way to word it. Uh, so I'm intrigued to see this other song from it. Uh, the film is, of course, directed by Nanda Kishore, stars uh, Dhruva Sarja and Rashmika Mandana, and the music is done by Shandin Shetty. Shandin Shetty also did the lyrics for this and is one of the singers alongside Shashank Shashagari and Anaruda Sastri. Shannon Shetty, I've heard, listened to a couple of his songs that he's released and I quite enjoyed those and so I'm intrigued to see how what he does for this title track for the movie. Really quick before we jump in, I want y'all to know about our Twitch. So we have a Twitch uh, where we go live playing video games, chatting, doing a whole bunch of fun stuff. Uh, we're live every Friday and Saturday and then we also go live sometimes during the week. Uh, we don't have like a set schedule for during the week but just whenever we're free and able to, we go live, play some games and chat with y'all. Super fun, casual, and we really enjoy especially being able to chat with you guys so make sure to head on over and check it out so we can have a discussion now without further ado let's jump into this pokeru title track Ooh. action prince i like that name it's cool i like the music he has great hair. <laughs> Gotta be said. Oh, that's cool. That's a really cool thing. I like the coloring of this. How it's like all the same color, and then he has just that bit of red. Oh, now wait. It's a cool shirt. I would wear it, but I'd prefer the sleeves to be the same length. <laughs> this is a cool location. Or a set, not sure which. I love the effect of all the people dancing. So many people. Got some fancy footwork here, nice. Really good. Has such a big feel because of all the people with him. It's very effective. <laughs> he has a huge muscle. All of his muscles, rather. I wonder if he's left-handed, because that's his left arm that he has the shorter sleeve with. Just a random thought. <laughs> Ooh, I like that, that moment. Who are these people with him? I feel like they have to be someone. It's two different guys. Nice. Some good dancing in this. Ooh. That was impressive. I'm gonna have to rewatch that. That was very cool. This makes the hero look super cool, so it's a really effective title track. At least I assume he's the hero, based on the other stuff. <laughs> he's kind of like a bad guy hero though, of course. Yeah, <laughs> as shown here. Oh gosh. Yeah, bad guy hero. 
That was interesting. Lion head. I assume that probably has to do with the lyrics. Oh. Interesting to have those random moments of like very prominent CGI. I'm sure they match the lyrics really well though, so probably not random. There's the lion head. really fun and I think overall effective title track. It was very like powerful, fun, makes the hero look really cool, had that great beat to it that's catchy and makes you want to listen to it again. Um, it sells the movie really well, like it makes you want to watch the film that the song is from, which I think is kind of like the main purpose of these title tracks, so it was extremely effective at that. Now I have three moments I want to look back over, so let's do that real quick. Alright, so firstly I want to take a look at that backflip, so let's kind of slow that down because I'm pretty sure that that was wire work, um, but I'm not positive. Cause he's in really good shape. So he definitely, I feel like he could do a backflip, you know? Um, I'm not saying he can't do a backflip, but I'm wondering in this particular backflip, he may have had some wires on him uh, to help enhance the look of it uh, for the video song. Oh yeah, okay, look how straight he is in that slow down of it. I'm gonna play a little slow-mo version of it. That is definitely a bit of a wire. Yeah, that is wire. Because that makes sense. Whenever you're on a wire, you have to be really straight and controlled to, you know, not move to a side or anything like that. So that was a wire backflip. Still extremely impressive. Still really cool looking. No, I mean, it's still not easy to do it with a wire on. It just helps uh, create the lift um, better um, and, you know, helps uh, hold you in the air so it looks more effective visually. Like how he has that great moment where he's like straight up and down. Like that looks really cool and much easier to achieve using wires than someone naturally doing that <laughs> because that's just a hard thing to do. And it is a longer take, so I'm sure they had to do it multiple times as well. So using a wire in this is the safer option and uh, the smarter option. So I do have to say the fire on the pile of bodies is is a little rough. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. The CGI there is a little very obviously fake, which, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's just a comment to be made. It's really interesting how they did this line war. So I think the reason that it looks so artificial is because it literally, it just fades in over his head instead of like his head transforming into it, then it transforming back. So it makes it a lot more jarring seeming in the visuals. Um, but of course, that's the much easier route than transforming his face into it would be extremely difficult. So I understand why they did it like this, but I think that's why it was a little bit visually jarring for me while watching it, um, even though it's a very quick moment. They did try and give it a little bit of a like it was coming out of his face by starting it out the sides of his head and then growing a bit bigger. Um, but it like isn't quite in the right position whenever it first starts to fade in. It's at a different angle than his face is. You can see like the lion's head's turned and he's looking straight forward. So that also kind of adds to that um, jarringness of it. The fade out from the lion head is a lot smoother and cleaner because the faces are more lined up between him and the lion. Um, and I think if they could have been able to line up the face at the start of it as well, um, it would make that just look a lot cleaner and work a bit more effectively and not feel as uh, jarring whenever it starts. All right, enough nitpicking of certain moments. Let's talk again about the overall. Um, his dancing was really great. I remember thinking that during Caribou that he has really good form um, and it shows again in this one. Uh, he has really great body control extremely evident uh, throughout every moment of this song. So one of the things that I think really worked well visually for this video song was the amount of people that they had. And how like, every single other person like had the same clothes on and then he had a different outfit on. Um, it made it visually really appealing to watch because especially everything was so in sync looking. Um, like there may have been a couple people out of sync but like I didn't notice it because um, I was watching the lead dancer and like the main dancers around him. Um, and it was just so effective at having that really like high energy and also like power Powerful feel to it, especially for the main characters. He's like, it's almost like he's leading all these people, so it gives you this glimpse into him. And so it really, like, it makes us feel like the main character is really cool. And that's something that you want, you know, you want the audience, especially because it seems like it's a more Moss style film as well. Um, so you want the audience to be able to connect and, like, really root for your character. Um, this song, I think, did that really well. Caribou, you know, I had a bit of a, you know, a little bit of hmm hmm about him. <laughs> but I think seeing the full movie, I think that the Caribou will make sense with it. And I think that his character development will show uh, to make him hopefully an overall likable character. <laughs> I also, let's talk about the music for a little bit. <laughs> That's why we're here to begin with. Um, and I really like the beat of it. Singers all did a great job. Um, it was very catchy. Uh, it had that great like hit your head to it beat. And I think it worked really well with his character as well, where he is a bit more 
aggressive uh, to say. <laughs> so it makes a lot of sense because uh, it kind of has those like harder beats that are maybe a little aggressive beats, you know, and how they hit. Um, and that works well with the character and all their dance moves and everything. Um, it just piles on together to create a really effective title track that is works well for the movie um the limited knowledge i have the movie from the teaser caribou and now this um and i'm excited to watch the full film on uh, february 19th hopefully i can i think that's when it's getting a theatrical release um so i won't be able to watch it exactly then but whenever it comes available somewhere on streaming hopefully it'll be available to me and I can take a look at it. That is all I have to say about the Poco Ruth title track. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below and check out our Twitch link in the description. And I hope that you all are staying safe out there and having an absolutely amazing day. Bye.